So Team Rocket is coming back to the Pokemon TCG. Is this going to be the next sure thing as far as Pokemon card releases? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there's an awesome plan for your life. So there's been a lot going on in the Pokemon world lately. We got people that stole about $2,000, I'm sorry, $2 million worth of cards. And I guess they didn't really steal them. They fraudulently sold about $2 million worth of cards. We saw that crazy story a couple weeks ago. Uh, and now we have announced, I guess late yesterday, that Pokemon has trademarked the name, the glory of Team Rocket uh, for potentially, or pretty much verified to be a future Pokemon TCG set, which will very likely, that will very likely be a Japanese set, but we will, you know, almost assuredly see that uh, in some type of a way in an English set, probably just be a little bit of a different name. And the thing that I find so interesting is, so we've got that announced that there's no like announced release date for that set, just that like, they, hey, the Pokemon company has trademarked that name, but we still have uh, Shrouded Fable coming out, which honest to goodness, Shroud Fable looks really cool. And then there's that dragon set that uh, everybody was excited about that nobody's talking about anymore. Uh, and we have Pokemon 151 being pretty available now uh, for the Japanese boxes. And now we have these rumors, or I guess rumors or whatever you want to call it, this uh, basically pretty substantiated evidence that there is a set coming out about Team Rocket, the glory of Team Rocket. Are dark Pokemon going to come back? And the reason I want to, the, the reason I want to make this, I'm talking about this is twofold. One, it's just so, it's so funny how we get so excited about things that are so far in advance that we forget about what's actually coming next. And two, I'm really, honestly, I like this because when Pokemon 151 got released last year, I kept saying if, if Pokemon would do this once a year, do something like this, we're not really another Gen 1 release, but you know, kind of go back and revisit some older sets, revisit some older Pokemon in a new way, which is exactly what they did with Pokemon 151. I think that would be really cool for somebody like me that loves that Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 era stuff this type of thing is awesome. So for one, first and foremost, to see this, I think this is cool. Now we don't know anything other than the name of the set, the glory of Team Rocket for the Japanese set, and who knows what it'll be in English, but you can make some assumptions and you can make a few educated guesses that it's likely that we will see dark Pokemon again. Now, Will we see dark Pokemon again? And will we see more of the Gen 1 style Pokemon that we had in EX Team Rocket Returns and in Team Rocket and you know all those older vintage sets? We had the EX set, we had the Watsi set, all those things. Are we gonna see a bunch of those you know earlier Gen Pokemon? Or is this gonna be a Team Rocket set with new Pokemon? That's something that I don't see a lot of people talking about. A lot of people freaking out saying, oh my God, Team Rocket's coming back. We're gonna get more vintage-esque type of things like Pokemon 151, which, what don't, don't get me wrong which would be really cool i think that would be incredible i would love to see that i think it's a it'd be a very smart move for pokemon to start to revisit um older sets and and re-envision them exactly like they did with 151 i'm not talking about reprinting sets i'm talking about okay let's go get these older sets some of the pokemon from it let's make a whole new set all new artwork all new cards all new mechanics and kind of go from there to, to kind of tap back into that vintage nostalgia, but in a modern form, I think is a brilliant plan. And I personally am hoping that this set is going to be that, that we're going to be, see revisiting from a bunch of the older Pokemon and some of the older dark Pokemon, the dark Blastoise, the dark Charizard, the dark Raichu, which by the way, the dark Raichu that was in Team Rocket was the first ever secret rare Pokemon card ever, which is kind of a cool thing. How, how cool would it be to get another Dark Raichu that's, you know, like that artwork kind of pays homage to that artwork, but a little bit updated. That's also a secret rare. How cool would that be? I think that type of stuff is very interesting, very exciting to me. So if that's what happens with this set, I think that would be great, but there's nothing saying that this won't be Team Rocket with new Gen 9 Pokemon. There's nothing that's saying that. It, it very well could be that. It very well may be that. And honestly, that wouldn't be bad either if that's what happened. That would actually be really interesting and exciting. The other thing I find so interesting is, like I said, we have Shrouded Fable coming out soon. So what, you remember the set that just came out a couple weeks ago, Twilight Masquerade? I, I, I'll i be the first to admit, I, I skipped it. I skipped that set. That set didn't look fun to me in any way, shape, or form. I didn't really care for that set. I, I skipped it because I have a lot going on and I just decided to skip it. But 
we had a set that just came out. We have our next set that's coming out called Shrouded Fable that I think looks really, really cool. I think the e ETBs look cool. The cards that we're seeing for Shrouded Fable look really cool. The concept of this set sounds very interesting to me, so I'm actually excited for that. And then kind of similar to this, you know, leaked set name, uh, we had the, there's the, I forget what the name of it was, but there's a dragon set that's supposed to be coming out later on this year, right? We don't really talk about that anymore. Uh, and Pokemon 151 is seeing uh, the hugest reprint. Throwback to me preaching a year ago, Pokemon 151 is going to get a reprint. Pokemon 151 is going to get a reprint. There's going to be a reprint. There's going to be a reprint. There's going to be a reprint. And people trolling me and calling me stupid and saying, how, how about, oh, I'm a, this, this, this comment aged really well. Those boxes are $200 a box and you were promising people that it would be cheaper not to buy well now you can go on ebay and buy pokemon 151 boxes for 75 bucks 80 bucks not bad right it's still double what msrp is but it's a heck of a lot better than 200 all of that to say we have all this other stuff going on in the pokemon community all very exciting and cool things right i, I think 151 is is going to be the evolving skies of scarlet and violet so the fact that it is the japanese boxes right now are so readily available is i think a huge thing i mean i have some sitting right here I have some sitting right here, right? We've been doing streams and openings. I've pulled three God Packs for people, three God Packs for people in the past week, and it's it's insane. I think it's gonna be a fantastic set, but we have all that going on <laughs> in the past few days. All people can talk about is Team Rocket's coming back. Everybody's getting excited about Team Rocket. I guarantee you people are speculating on Team Rocket. If a store was able to put up pre-orders for Team Rocket, they would sell out whatever this Rocket, Team Rocket Returns, Team Rocket, the glory of Team Rocket, whatever they're gonna call it, if stores were able to put up pre-orders for it right now, I guarantee you it would it would sell out just on pure speculation. And the interesting thing is that speculation could be valid. That speculation could be very valid. This could be a good set that supposedly is supposed to come out at the beginning of 2025. So, I mean, we're still potentially six to nine, tw 10 months away from this set coming out. And it's really everybody is is got their mind thinking about it and i just find that interesting and i don't think it's necessarily just a product of pokemon i think it's ne it's a product of where we are in society today with with tiktok and instagram and there's this thing called tiktok brain where people can't focus on things for more than 20 or 30 seconds i've done tests on tiktok with my anime videos i've done tests with videos that were like 25 seconds long and the last second of the video says something that explains the entire video and people will be in the comments trolling it making them exposing themselves and making themselves look ridiculous and making it obvious that hey you can't even watch a full 25 second video to get the explanation in the last second before you decide to spend more than 25 seconds leaving a hateful comment tiktok brain is real and i bring up tiktok brain because i feel like that's kind of part and parcel goes you know hand in hand with why people get so excited in the Pokemon community for things that are way far out in the future when we actually have really interesting and exciting things going on right now. Now, you could make the argument, well, well, hey, I'm not really interested in anything that's happening now, so I'd rather, you know, this looks like something cool to save my dollars for and to save for this 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 release because I want to be able to buy a case or I want to be able to buy two cases or I want to be able to open a case for myself or open two booster boxes for myself, whatever the case may be. That's a valid point. There's nothing wrong with that perspective. I'm just commenting on... I think it's interesting how much everybody's talking about just the set name has been revealed and we don't even know what it's going to be. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Do you think it's going to be a revisit of, you know, older, more vintage Team Rocket Pokemon and, you know, some of the earlier generations? Or do you think this is going to be a Team Rocket set that's based on newer gens, Gen 9, supposedly? It does say glory of Team Rocket. So glory could be construed to be something that means the, you know, the past, the glorious past of Team Rocket. So it very well could be vintage stuff. But let me know in the comments below if you think it's going to be, you know, a rehashing of older stuff or if it's going to be new gen new generation pokemon I, I think it's very interesting so all that to say i think this is this is cool news I, I think it's gonna it could very well end up being a really good set but that being said there's a lot happening right now in pokemon that's really cool there's a lot of opportunity on really good cards if you want to pick them up before they probably will skyrocket there's a lot of opportunity with some fun sets like pokemon 151 that i guess people aren't paying attention to right now that is really fun and exciting enjoy what we have in front of us 
and then look, yeah, look to the future, but enjoy what you have in front of us. And then when that stuff comes, enjoy that as well. So that's my perspective on it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It's actually free if you give videos thumbs up and it helps a ton. You can subscribe and hit that notification bell and YouTube will tell you when videos come up. And if you like this one, YouTube says you like that one too. So go check it out. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today. Be the change you want to see in the world. See you next time.